I can get started. It's okay to start now? Yep. Uh, okay. It's okay. You go ahead. Okay. Good afternoon, day or evening, depending on what time it is in your area. My name is Dr. Dale Mars, and I'm elated to share my um, nursing research with you all today. I am getting over the flu, so I'm going to try not to cough during this presentation. I'm working on it really hard, but I'm getting over the flu. So I'm going to try to speak clearly as much as I can. Okay, so the title of my study is The Lived Experience of African-American Informal Caregivers of Family Members with Alzheimer's and Related Dementias in a Home Environment. Alzheimer's disease is a progressive degenerative disease of the brain that results in memory loss, impaired thinking, difficulty speaking, and personality changes. It is the most common form of dementia, which is not a normal part of aging. This is of greater concern for African Americans who are two times more likely to develop Alzheimer's disease, and I refer to that sometimes as AD, than whites, but less likely to have a diagnosis, resulting in less time for treatment and planning. As Alzheimer's disease progresses and the cognitive ability of the person with AD diminished, eventually the patient becomes unresponsive, incontinent, and requires total care. Informal or family caregivers provide majority of the high level of care for most individual AD in their home. The purpose of this study, this qualitative phenomenological study, was to describe the lived experience of African-American informal caregivers of family members with ADRD. And I will refer to that, which means Alzheimer's disease and related dementia. I'll go back and forth with ADRD in a home environment. So in terms of the methodology, the research question is, what is the lived experience of the African-American informal caregiver of a family member with this? The research design sample using a qualitative phenomenological approach, a purposeful sample of 16 African-American informal caregivers completed an in-depth interview that lasts from 30 to 60 minutes. All of the partic participants, which number was 16, were African Americans. They were two males and 14 females with an average age of 62 years, which ranged 50 to 85. The length of caregiving reflected a wide range from one to 15 years. The data analysis I used for this study was Kalazi. Kalazi was suitable for this study as it is used to place emphasis on the need to capture the complexity of the lived experience in a rich, exhaustive descriptive of caregiving for a family member with ADRD. The analysis of this data involved multiple readings of transcripts to identify significant statements and phrases. From 16 verbatim transcript, 126 significant statements were extracted from each transcript that directly pertain to the participants' caregiving experiences. Meanings were then formulated from verbatim statements and phrases. Four emergent themes came from, my, from this study. The first emergence theme was sense of baloney, arduous journey, sentinel events, and faith in God.
The emergent theme, sense of obligation, it describes a strong duty and commitment towards the family member with ADRD. It displayed a sense of obligation as my duty, my obligation, my responsibility. I'm the one to care for my family members and it is my time to care for them. Participant six referred to her mother and said, I think what keeps me going is my sense of obligation to my mom because she is my parent and I wouldn't want her left out there trying to figure it out on her own. Another participant also noted about sense of obligation. My mom and my dad did a great job taking care of us. We never missed a meal. We never had lights turned off and you know, they took great care of us. They had always been there. So I just feel that it's time to do the same for my family member. Another emergent thing was arduous journey. And through arduous journey, it's the day-to-day -day challenges that a caregiver went through providing care to a family member with ADRD. Describe caregiving as being difficult, burden, had a lot of work, devastating, overwhelming, and stressful. Participant four referring to his wife says, most of the devastating, this was one of the most devastating things in my life. I had the experience of having to care for someone in many instances did not remember who you were, who I was. I was, it was extremely difficult. Another individual mentioned, it started off by being stressful. She became bedridden and this required lifting, moving and turning. It was a physical strain on the body and then was stressful because also I had my immediate family members living with me, having to leave my home and having to run two households, my mom's and of course my home. Sentinel events was another theme that emerged. That was the avoidance of a near miss situation that potentially threatened the family member's safety and well being. Displayed issues with driving, cooking, and wandering. Participant seven referring to her husband by saying, My husband was still driving. I had people calling me and telling me that they were seeing him pull out in front of other people doing all kinds of dangerous things. And I would try to get him to stop driving. Another participant noted, one early sign of difficulty was when I got a call from the police one late evening and that my wife lost her way home. So the policeman pretty much called and told us to just, we're on the side of the street waiting for someone to identify her. So they met, we met with the police and we helped bring my wife home. And that final emergent thing was faith in God. Pulling from a strong faith in God and spirituality to cope with the challenges of caregiving. Described as having faith in God as stay in the word, I pray a lot, something that God wanted me to do and asking God to show me the way. Participant 14, referring to her sister saying, I was doing something that God wanted me to do. I looked at her and I did a lot of praying. I prayed for the sense of commit contentment and this is what God wants. Another participant noted, this is what God keeps me here on earth for, keeping my faith and praying a lot. Informal caregiver constitute the backbone, the, back, the backbone of ADRD caregiving. The findings from this study add to the limited body of knowledge about the lived experience of African-American and former caregivers caring for their family members with ADRD. Participants describe how they adjusted their roles from a family member to a primary caregiver. 
it was interesting to note that they did not have difficulty describing their home environment situation. However, they expressed great challenges that they endure through their process of caregiving. The limitation of this study is believed to have impacted these results. The study was based on a purposeful sample with a small sample size. Due to the sample size and qualitative design, the results of this study cannot be generalized to the population. The data were only collected from African-American informal caregivers that resided in the Southeast region in the United States. It cannot be assumed that the results will reflect responses from individuals residing in other locations. Future research is needed to further refine our understanding of caregiver challenges and its relationship to their well being. A mixed method um, study would be effective, qualitative and quanti quantitative study would be valuable in gaining greater insight on how being a full time employed person caring for their family members, being a part of a sandwich generation, and a lack of socialization impacts the well being of informal caregivers. Studies to measure the effectiveness of nursing intervention on caregivers, they're pretty much needed. This study, this study offers a fresh, in-depth insight on how African-American informal caregivers understood their experiences with caregiving. By acknowledging and supporting the voices of caregivers of family members with ADRD, collaboration with healthcare teams could provide the informal caregiver with knowledge, social support, and an anticipatory guidance needed for coping with the unique challenges of caregiving for family members with ADRD. Thank you, and I will accept um, qu um, questions and answers at this time. And thank you for bearing with me. I'm working through this flu as well. Thank you so much.